Um, you know, we talk about the, the clinical versus the faith-based. Uh, I always describe it as a, a clinician, someone in the medical community, uh, you know, in the clinical community would say, well, we need to start with medication, we need to start with therapies, and then work from there. And if there are other tools that are helpful along the way, we can add them. And maybe one of those tools is faith. We would go the other direction. We would say, you need to start with faith, and there are probably other tools along the way that might be helpful, but the foundation has to be faith. It's, it's all about starting point to me. And I think, you know, as you mentioned, if you start with medication, then what's, what's the end point? Where do you go from, where do you go from there? That's the, that's the whole game, right? Um, and so it really is about a starting point. And we start from faith and say, you need to have this first. Because if you don't have that foundation, I had this conversation with someone recently uh, who had been a firefighter and was not a Christian during his time in the fire service. Uh, came to a critical moment where he tried to take his life, came into a relationship with Christ. And we were talking about framing and context. Um, if you're not a person of faith, you know, even broadly, there's no context to process the things that you're going through. So you see a tragedy, you encounter something difficult, your relationship isn't right, whatever it is. If you don't believe there's something transcendent, something bigger than you and your situation, uh, why would you not fall into despair and, and, and uh, that darkness that overcomes so many people? You don't have anything else. It's the context that comes from knowing there is a God. He does have a plan. His plan is personal for me. He has a path that he wants me to follow. What I'm dealing with is not all there is. I'm not hopeless because there's something outside of myself. And Frankly, I, I don't know how anybody can function in the world as it is today right. <laughs> without, without understanding that we have a God that's in control. Yeah. Of everything, I mean, and that's exactly right. I, and I, I think when you talk about, you know, how does faith impact recovery? Uh, well, it gives you a perspective that allows you to see the world where you're not the center of it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I'm not the center of the world. God is. Um, I'm not. And since I'm not, then my frailties and my uh, my failings and my issues are not all there is. There's something much bigger and much more. Um, I say something, God is bigger, he is in control, and he has a plan. Yeah, I don't know how you go through the world the way it is and look around and go, well, there's no God. I think another thing, when you're in despair, and I've, you know, I've spent many, many years of my life in despair uh, without God, you feel like your, your, uh, your life, your future, your sanity, like everything's in your hands. Right. And, uh, and it's, it's up to you for it to make or break yeah. it. And, uh, and deep down when we're in those moments, we don't feel capable. And so just, uh, to come to the understanding that my life, my, my, my sanity, my health, my eternity is not in my hands. It's in, it's in God's hands, which is a much better place than in my own hands. Yeah. Uh, there's just such a peace and comfort that comes from, from the, that, that revelation in someone's life. Yeah. It's crazy because the most capable person, we say this in one of our classes during the program that uh, everyone is, is insecure inside or every man is insecure. I forget exactly how the quote yeah. goes. Um, but it's true. You look at the person that seems the most capable. On the inside, they know who they are and yeah. they know where their insecurities are. They know the things that they're afraid of, the things they're hiding from people. And if I have to be in control of everything, I'm only as good as who I am. And, and I know the truth. I know I can't control my relationships and I can't control what's happening in the world. And, and uh, faith really is exactly as you described it. It's understanding. I don't have to be in control. You know, God has a plan and it's bigger than me. And there's a, a tremendous amount of peace and comfort that comes from that. And that, that's, that's, when we talk about something like PTSD or, or panic disorder, anxiety, that's, that knowledge is, is healing in itself. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's the, the transcendence of God is, um, man, probably the most comforting thing we have is, is knowing he's bigger, than, he's bigger than all this. He's not worried about it. Um, so next question, kind of on the faith, not kind of, on the faith topic as well. Um, I'm of another faith, and I, I guess that would mean, I'm, or I assume that means I'm not a Christian like you. Um, I'm of another faith. Will this program work for me? And that's an interesting question because we've been answering that one for like 10 years. <laughs> um, I don't believe what you believe. Is there anything in this program for me? How would you address that? Uh, well, if, I get, if I'm going to answer it candidly, I'd be like, if, if you're, if what you believe is working, then why are you coming to our, our program? Sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, if what you, it goes to the Mighty Oaks question, right? If what you're doing isn't working, then 
why not try something different? Uh, you know, if, if, if you're still missing something and you're searching, then what, what do you have to gain? Uh, everything. Yeah. You have everything to gain and, no, and nothing to lose. I'd say, uh, why not come and, and give it a try? Uh, listen to what the, the personal testimonies of the leadership who's been through, uh, been through some of the hardest things you can imagine in life and translated those things through their life of faith. And, uh, and, you know, attempt to see what, you know, to peel back the curtain behind, you know, the, the biblical truths that as we would present them yeah. and, and see, and really contrast your life to what your life would be like if you align those, align your life to those things. You know, um, I, 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 uh, I know this, you know, people have all kinds of beliefs and faiths out there. Uh, I, I believe that, uh, the, the Christian life is, is, is the truth. I believe this. I, I, I also believe that it's much different. Um, uh, I thought, I think for a long time, I thought all faiths were kind of the same. And I thought we just believed different things because the way we were raised. And then as I really got into the study of apologetics, and understanding why I believe what I believe, I just believe the Christian life is just so different than any other faith. And, uh, and it's different because of its, you know, it's truth. It's truth. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, it's explain that right. Or too. Yeah, harsh. no, it's, <laughs> it is. So, so I think this, this breaks down into two parts. Uh, one is just faith broadly. And uh, a lot of research has been done on this. And there are studies that would say just believing in something. It, you even go back to, um, you know, some of the uh, drug and alcohol programs that talk about faith or belief. The object is unimportant. You have to believe in something bigger than yourself or outside of yourself. And right. a lot of research has been done that that I is higher help. power. Yeah, it's a higher power or, you know, your higher power can be a rock or <laughs> whatever. But that faith aspect, believing in something outside of yourself, um, has been proven to be helpful. I mean, there's a lot of research on that. And that's a key component to getting out of a difficult uh, place in your life. Um, so faith by itself can be helpful would, in moving forward. I mean, I was going to say, like, I mean, Vody Bakum talks about this. His mom was a alcoholic and she turned to Buddhism and her, her life was radically changed. Right. I mean, uh, I mean, so we see people of all kinds of faiths have their lives change, but we're talking about it. When we talk about the Christian faith, we're talking about a significantly different change. Right. And, and I, I would argue that, um, the major change or the major difference is, um, if you're looking for behavior modification, right. There are a lot of things that you can do to modify your behavior. And faith is something you can use as a, you know, a way to do that or uh, a lot of other things. But what we're talking about is not behavior modification. It's a true aligning to the person you were created by God uh, specific to, specifically to be. Not a general God, but God the Creator. God uh, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is part of the Trinity who came to earth, who lived perfect, who died on the cross, who rose again. And I think the thing that separates Christianity from all other religions is the resurrection. It's, it's about a Savior who died in our place, but then rose again. And there were witnesses that observed that happening and all the things we could talk about there. Um, but religions, apart from you know, biblical Christianity, it's all about me. I need to do something to gain God's favor. Biblical Christianity helps us to understand it has nothing to do with you. It's all about what God has done through Christ. And so I, I think that's the difference. The difference is, uh, will your faith help you? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, will it make you a better person? Maybe, maybe even more moral, maybe a better husband or whatever. I mean, maybe. Um, but when we're talking about eternity and soul level renewal, and regeneration, um, that's that's the difference between what we consider faith and what many others would say, you know, faith is just this general belief in something bigger. Um, and I, I think that's very significant. However, and you mentioned this, um, you don't have to believe the way that we believe to attend our program. And if you believe something else, you know, you're not going to be disqualified. I think a lot of people have come, I know, a lot of people have come. A lot of people, yeah to a program who said, I either don't believe in God, um, or I believe in him, but I hate him, or I am of a completely different faith than you, or whatever. And all we ask is exactly what you said. Um, that's fine, believe whatever you want to. 
just take some time this week to contrast the way that you live and what you believe with what we're talking about and what we're teaching and what we're trying to model through our own lives and uh, see if there's a difference. And if there's a difference, um, at least be open to responding to, to that difference.